finished May, which means we finished fifth grade. So what did we do this month and what are we planning moving forward? So this month started out with a bang. I was able to go to a homeschool convention and have so much fun fun. I learned a lot, I met a lot of people, and I got to experience the exhibit hall, which was wonderful. I loved talking to the exhibitors about curriculum and look at what's out there and what's available and make a few purchases as well. If you're interested in what I did purchase at the homeschool convention, I'll make sure to link that video down below. Then the next thing I did is I rushed back home to help my daughter get ready for her very first masquerade ball. Our homeschool community put it on and it was a lot of fun for her. I'm very glad that she was able to attend. So that all happened in the first few days of May. Then we got back to work so that we could finish up quite a few things before the end of May. We did start a brand new devotion. This is by the same author who did Indescribable. We loved Indescribable and we love this one. Very short devotions that are so easy to comprehend and they pack a punch. So we are enjoying this one. We will carry it into next year. My daughter finished up her very first research paper. She did it on soap and she was able to also make soap and that was a lot of fun and very educational. So I'm really glad that she was able to do her very first research paper on a subject that she got to do some hands-on learning with as well. We also started working with the sentence diagramming book from Critical Thinking. This is level one. I am really enjoying this book. It talks about the parts of speech as well as how to diagram them. They're very easy, short lessons. We only really are doing a page a day, but again, we will continue this into sixth grade. We did finish our Moving Beyond the Page, Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim Literature Study. This was so much fun. I highly recommend the Moving Beyond the Page Literature Studies. I will link a video down below where I talk about this some more and actually compare it with a couple other literature studies that we did this year. But this was a lot of fun. I loved incorporating science, logic, medicine, arguments, talking about do we agree with something or do we not? And it was all in here. So we really liked this along with the normal things that you would find in a literature study like plot development characters and those wonderful concepts. As for our read aloud this month, we did read The Chocolate Touch, which was a very cute, very quick read. It was a lot of fun. It was a little bit below my daughter's grade level, but we wanted something that was just fun and this fit the bill. Also, uh, speaking of fun, the fantastic Mr. Fox. Where, how can you go wrong with Roald Dahl? We loved this book. Now, I did have my daughter watch the trailer for the movie and she decided she did not want to see the movie because she thought it went too much against what the book was. And she liked the book so much that she didn't want to watch the movie. So we didn't watch the movie for that. We also started, but we did not finish Gordon Corman's The Unteachables. Now we are about halfway through and so far, along with all the other Gordon Corman books we've read, we have loved it. And it has some surprising messages in it, most of which are revolving around what happens when students are deemed unteachable, but then you have a teacher who gets through to them, a teacher who shows that he cares. What can happen then? And like I said, we're in the middle of this, so we'll have to see what happens, but we are really enjoying Gordon Corman's The Unteachables. For math, we are moving right along with Dimensions 5. We will continue working on it. It will probably take us through most of the summer to finish it. For science, we started God's Design Physical World. We are now working with machines and motions. We are really enjoying this. I love all of the practical experiments that are included included in this book. We are enjoying this and we're so thankful that we went ahead and started it when we did because we're having a lot of fun. We did go ahead and start building our Da Vinci Battalion. The only one that we've built so far is the Ballista. 
it did take a little bit of time to do, but we were so surprised at how much speed you can get for shooting this. And it was a lot of fun to play with once we got it built. We will be building the other two probably sometime in June or July. We did finish the United States Song Study Collection from Where'd You Learn That Homeschool? My daughter liked it so much that she wanted to do another one. We are now working on the nature collection for hymns. It is a lot of fun to hear the history behind these songs as well as for us to analyze them and we're incorporating a little bit of art along the way. These provide easy to follow short lessons where we can bring in as much as we want and we are learning about these wonderful hymns and iconic United States songs. For history, we are still working through America's Story 3 for Master Books and enjoying it. We will be finishing this in about a month. Some of the supplements that we did bring in this month include what was the Vietnam War, who was Richard Nixon. We also read one crazy summer and we are in the middle of walking with Miss Millie. Both of these books are very powerful. They have such a great message and are told in a very age appropriate way for my 10 year old. We also talked about the 1947 Freedom Train, which of course talks about our historic papers making a cross country train trip in 1947 and how important that trip was to the morale of the nation. And we enjoyed this picture book quite a bit. It was an easy read and it had a lot of great information in it. Also, we are finishing up our American History comic book. This is something that we started back at the beginning of fourth grade and are really enjoying along the way where our little guy goes on adventures back in time to various historic events. He is funny and gives some great tidbits of information. We only have one more left with this, but we did talk about the space race in comic book format. Also, when we were talking about the 1960s, my daughter worked on the 1960s fashions to color. I was very surprised that she really liked this because she's normally not a colorer, but she really did enjoy this and she's continuing to do it even though we finished the 1960s. She's having a lot of fun coloring these fashions. I think one of the things that she really likes about it is it gives ideas of what of how you can color something. And so she really liked that part. Also, we've been watching the Food That Built America documentary. I highly, highly encourage you to watch it. If you have a child who enjoys American history, marketing, inventions, food, all of those uh, concepts are included in this documentary. We have now taken the Pepsi challenge and I didn't know which was Coke, Pepsi, or Sam's. Yep, I didn't do very well on the Pepsi challenge, but that's okay. We talked about the marketing behind it and we will continue to watch the Food the Milled America. We are now on season two. They have come out with season three and we're looking forward to watching more and more episodes. It is our favorite documentary that we have watched all year. The History Channel did a great job. Next year, we will be studying world geography and world history. So I have subscribed to Universal Yums. We received our very first box this month, which is all about the United Kingdom. We loved this box. My daughter is so excited for what she is going to receive each month. We were able to look at the parts of the United Kingdom as well as rank what we thought of the different yums inside the box. So we are already kind of dipping our toes into sixth grade and enjoying every minute of it so far. I am getting ready to release our sixth grade curriculum picks. So please make sure you are subscribed.